mistakes in identifying near and far objects. Hello children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of identifying the near, far and nearest farthest objects. In this video we will learn about some common mistakes which should be avoided in identifying the near, far and nearest farthest objects. Today Aarti and Chotu are talking during their lunch time. Aarti, yesterday I walked to school with my mother and I felt that the school is very far from home. But today I came in car with my father and I felt that the school is very near. Why is it so? Chotu, the school doesn't go far or near. Yesterday, when you walked to the school with your mother, you took more time. And today, you came by car. Hence, it took less time. Okay. So friends, did you see? The school did not get far or near when Chotu was walking or coming by car. It happened because one day, it took Chotu more time to reach and the next day it took less time to reach. Chotu and Pinky were playing in the park. Look Pinky, there is a small ball lying in the corner of the park. Hey, yes, it is a small ball. Let's go and get it. Pinky and Chotu went near the ball. Pinky, this ball is looking bigger as we are coming closer to it. See Pinky, this ball was looking small. Now it is looking big. Why is it so? You are right Chotu. It is a big ball. Children, Chotu felt that the ball is small from a distance and when he went near, it is looking big. You are right. Things look small when seen from a distance. When we get closer to the object, we are able to see the real size of the object. That's why they look big when we get near the object. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we have learned about some common mistakes which should not be made while identifying the near far and nearest far objects. I hope you have understood this topic correctly. Bye friends!